Hi everyone. I'd like to talk today about friendship and in particular the friendship between countries. Now to me, friendship implies equality and the relationship between the United States and the country of Israel is, as far as I can see, not equal. We give them so much financial aid every year, also financial aid in the form of loans that are not repaid and are really not expected to be repaid, so that's just more financial aid. And what do we get back in return? So for those of you that are leaving kind of negative comments on my videos, please tell me what Israel gives back to the United States. Um, this isn't really friendship, it's more like a parasite, is when you're giving and giving and giving, and you have a friend that's taking and taking and taking and not getting giving you anything back in return. That's the definition of a parasite. And if I had a friend like that, I would want to end the friendship and I would kick myself for being so stupid as to keep giving them money and other stuff. Like we give them money, also we give them their weapons, their depleted uranium and their cluster bombs in order for them to practice their terrorism on the Palestinians. Now, a word in response to people that are leaving um, messages about, you know, Hamas being a terrorist organization. Well, I put myself in the Palestinian people's shoes, and they had their land stolen from them. They did not leave there willingly. If you don't believe me, read that book that I put up in my channel. Um, it was recommended to me by Jackdoodle9, so thank you. I went online, and I purchased it. And um, it really showed me a different side of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. And um, if people have their land stolen from them, they're forced to leave or else they get killed, they get massacred, they have their livelihoods taken away so they have no means to support themselves. And they're put in this little tiny patch of land, they're just crowded there, it's like um, an open-air prison, it's an open-air concentration camp actually. And um, this other country totally controls their economy and starts slowly squeezing off the food that's coming in and the medical aid and they have to go through all these checkpoints just to visit their friends and relatives. Then, um, you know, if I were them, then I would probably think about, you know, joining the Hamas as well. I don't know what, what other recourse I would have. I mean... Am I supposed to let myself be stepped on as a person in my in my country, you know? Just give in to this oppression? What Hamas is, is, and PLO and all those other organizations, they're a reaction to something. They're a reaction to an oppressor. And um, if people made me leave the part of Southern California that I'm in, and they made me go somewhere else, and they just took over my land, then I'd be pretty upset as well. And I would think about joining an organization that fought them. I wouldn't just lay down and take it. I would fight. And I'm sure that most people would <laughs> fight as well. And so when we're looking at things, we, we need to be actually fair and honest. Um, some people, I guess, have a bias about it if they happen to be Israeli or Jewish. Um, I'm not Palestinian. No one in my family is Arab or Muslim. Um, no one in my family is Jewish either, so I don't have a bias against or for one side or the other. I can look at both sides fairly. And I can come out squarely on the side of the Palestinians in just thinking about it and thinking about what's right and what's fair. And, um, you know, these people have their land stolen in the way, and at the very least, they deserve a large monetary compensation. And um, the United States needs to stop giving Israel so much money. I mean, what would they do without our money? Could they even, like, support themselves? Is that why they, they have such a stranglehold on our governments that they're funneling um, a lot of our money to them, our taxpayers' money? You know, I mean, what would they do without all their money, honestly?
Do they, do they support themselves, you know? And um, I think the answer is no. That's why they need our money so much. And uh, that's why they need our weapons so much. And the whole thing is stupid. And um, I hope that my government will actually come to our senses and stop giving them the support, stop giving them the weapons, and use that money to help support American citizens. You know, there could be job training programs, there could be um, food for kids. You know, not everybody in America is rich, and we could use that money too. So that's all I have to say for now, and I'm signing off, and everyone have a nice Sunday.